an act of kindness is that nobody knows, or at least that he doesn't know. I let him have the glory. No one has to know his arrow missed. He saved the town. He's a hero. Wiser than those other fools in the House of Ballads. It is their inability to see beyond themselves that has brought them to this end. This is my realm, and any who seek to cross it must first face my challenges. The Wall of Thorns awaits. You will not lay eyes on him until I find you worthy of it. I pull your strings now. If you wish to rescue your friends, you must cross the field of battle. As it is in the telling, so it will be for you. Only a true knight of the House of Ballads may pass beyond the wall, and every true knight needs armor. Tell me, beloved, are your tales worth a minstrel's breath, or are you just dust waiting to fall? it is, Kreth. Hallam the White has sent his right hand to tear at Our Lady's good name. You are interrupting a duel for the ages. There can only be one Windermere champion, and it shall be me. Of course, Kreth has never been one to concede gracefully. Need our armor? Is this a jest? You will never impress the maid. She is only interested in true knights of the realm. Perhaps you can help us choose the Grell. Kreth and I were just fighting over who should be the maid's true champion. Unless you believe yourself worthy of such an honor, then by all means challenge one of us to a duel. The prize, your sought-after armor. Indeed, I must confess, this was the outcome I desired. Shall we? Come <laughs> on. 
I grow more impressed with every head you lay before me. Well done. You rival even Sir Elswin in your foolish arrogance. You may have passed the Wall of Thorns, but the Weeping Gorge proposes its own unique challenges. It is what prevents my enemies from simply marching into my kingdom and feeding it to the flame. To raise the bridge, one must defeat its guardian, the legendary Sir Elswin. Only then will the path make its way open to you. Alas, Sir Elswin has been killed, as goes the story. This time I fear he's staying quite dead. Another terrible price of our waning magic. Pity. <laughs> <laughs> I have you right where I... Wait. What's the meaning of this? Who are you and where is my opponent? Oh. I see what happened. Blast. Ah, perhaps next time. Really? I don't think so, Dustling. Oh, 
Mortal, you presume too much. This song does not belong to you. There can only be one champion, and his name is Sakreth. Perish and rot as a corpse in the sun. <laughs> it's a bit late to change your mind now, isn't it? Goodbye. Brave. No mortal has ever set foot in my domain. Isn't it wondrous? I've spent centuries whispering my wishes to the earth, the trees. The crystal has made it so. Never before has there been one worthy of sharing it with me. Do you fancy yourself a ruler? Join me and my enchanted beasts in this, the autumn of my kind. And you mean it. That is why you so fascinate me. You continue to snarl, even in the face of your own demise. Admirable. Stupid, but admirable. Wenson waits for you in my castle. But only a fool would simply invite you in. And I am no fool. I have been part of this story for too long. This village is my legacy. How the world will remember me when all the courts have fallen. Below, my army prepares to wipe clean the songs of yore. You could lie beside me in the waning days. But if rescuing Wenson is what fate has written for you, then you will find him. And you will find me.
You're not at all what I expected. I am Sagril, Chancellor of Windermere. She said you were beautiful, although I have noticed that she has peculiar tastes. You're just in time. Our little army is building up quite nicely. I was beginning to fear that we'd actually have to execute the Lady's plans, ludicrous as they are. Of course you are, forgive me. I often forget that my time with the House of Ballads has passed. Now I am but a prisoner of the Maid. We all are. You see, this place, it's calm. It is only an illusion. The Maid uses her strange crystals to pacify the beasts, just as she enchants our friends. We must destroy the crystals to earn our freedom. But they are invisible to all but the Maid. It is her song that calls them. The crystals are hidden around the village and forest of Summer's End. You cannot see them with the naked eye. They appear only when summoned by a musical tone. You must hurry.
quite a display, my friend. It makes me proud to share a name. You made quick work of the maid's army. The lady herself, however, will prove more formidable. Take this. It's the key to the village bell house. That bell rings with the same tone as the flute, only louder. So loud it can be heard across these high mountains. The toll will break the enchantment on the maid's castle. Then you will have your chance. Make the most of it, my friend. It may be your last. And now I am free. I do hope we meet again. I would like you to have this. It's a talisman. I have no need of it where I am going. I am grateful to you. Welcome to my home, beloved. I hope it suits your fancy, for you will never leave it. Wenzin is here, along with his court of enchantments. The great halls and corridors echo with their voices, of the ancient stories told and forgotten. It is time to begin anew, for we write the final chapter of the House of Ballads, only when the memory of ancient glories has faded, can new glory be forged. Everything you see, the castle and all that resides in it, could be yours. That includes my love. Consider it. And to the dawn, and to the echoed dusk, I, the king of ancient ballads, scepter of this house, Falcon of Detir, Annihilator of Elkmar, and on and on. Languid. Sagril, you've come at last. It's time to cross swords with one worthy of your talents. You have caused the maid much grief, and that saddens me. Luckily, your death will provide her much pleasure. I honor the Emerald Lady with every head I lay at her feet. Yours is next.
full of pride am I to think I could resist her seduction. I know perdition like the terrestrial cane, a crutch that saps the dew of youth. And yet here was beauty manifested, a heart serene, sublime, a clamorous cascade, all in calumnious wonder. When night falls on the countryside, the noise of wanton opprobrious lechery, the stench of sullen gloom, and the false corpses of sordid history exhumed to please, compounded, and again interred into the womb of the past. Then am I lost. last you've come the maid has made her sick fantasy a reality everything she was has been warped by the prismere crystal she holds so dear it is difficult to tell if she controls it or if it controls her we must escape this place the telling has failed us sagar nothing is certain if we must but i fear i have no role in this song now we are far beyond what is familiar <laughs> 